Welcome back to Charlie's House Call Auto Repair. Today we're heading out of town to go look at a 2018 Chevy Silverado. It has a no start complaint. According to the customer, the vehicle does not crank. Uh, and it has also already had two dealership installed starters. We're going to go diagnose this uh, no start. First things first, 30,491 miles on the clock. We do have a Prindle and we've got nothing going on at all. Let's go make sure the starter actually works. Well, this was rather anticlimactic. We, uh, Took this relay right here out for the starter. Jumped the uh, output to the starter and got no response at all, which tells me that the starter was just plain not responding. And I went down underneath. I pushed on the uh, signal wire to the starter, which is buried down there and underneath the intake or the exhaust manifold um, you can see a big silver wire way down there that big silver wire way down there is uh, I believe the power wire got that one right there should be the power wire going to the starter and uh, I gave that a wiggle and next try it started up so our signal wire on the starter is loose so just make sure that uh, your connections are good on your starter and that might just solve your problem Next trick. Let the vehicle do the work for you. Got to get the inner, inner liner out. Got all these little screws all over the place. They're all torques. They are uh, short screws. It's a Torx T15. Still missing one? Yep, there's one. And there's our starter right there. So we got that lug right there. And heat shield, which is supposed to be bolted right there, is not. 
That's that's dangerous right there. That comes down, hits this wire. That's bad news. All right, let's get underneath here and get this little guy unbolted. Now we're gonna loosen up this nut right here. That's your an 11 millimeter to, to the battery. Get this removed. Swing this right up and out of the way. Now the connector that we're going for here is underneath this. This is the positive cable from the battery underneath this piece. Slide that down out of the way. Okay, there's our plug. And I do not see the little red locking tab on here, which means somebody probably already broke it off. Well, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Somebody broke that off. There's the connector. So the lock tab is missing, so this is gonna need a new connector. All right, so we put a little bit of dielectric grease in the end of the connector. That's going to have to hold for the time being. We're going to need to order a new uh, new connector for this. The locking tab is missing. So we've got that all the way up and on. I'm pretty sure that's fairly secure right now. Okay, so that should hold for a while. And we'll put this back together until we get a new connector in. Now we've got our little insulator back up in place. What I'm really concerned about is this heat shield right here. I don't know why the dealership could not put that bolt back in. I don't have one to put in. chances are good they didn't put it back in because they didn't put the heat shield back in the right place that's not going to hit anything so oh well let's go over, wrap this up put the wheel wall back in Tighten these up yet, just put a few of them in, get things lined up. My advice would be to put all of them in and then tighten them all up. Where they should be, go ahead and start slugging them in. Do keep in mind you're only going into a little plastic fitting.
tire pop was falling out. Let's go ahead and put the wheel back on. Spinning on the lug nuts. Silverado no start. Just a bad connection. So if you guys like that one, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell for upcoming videos. And don't forget, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches. Sorry I couldn't get you guys a better uh, repair. Uh, 2018 Silverado was more or less suffering from a bad connection at the starter. Signal wire uh, was intermittent. And that's most likely due to the dealership during one of the previous two warranty replacement starters um, had uh, broke the lock holds the signal wire on so I'll give you a quick screenshot of a part number for the repair on that um, and again I apologize that this wasn't a little bit more involved it was actually a lot more simple than what I expected but again if you guys run into this you can always jumper remember pins 30 to 87 on the starter relay to actually determine whether or not the starter works which it did not and when I went down for the confirmation at the starter itself, uh, had nothing on the uh, signal wire. 